So my current project requires one of these, a power source, foil, and poly sheet, which is 5 mil, which would be this. These are homemade capacitors. I'm going to be making about 20 of these. That's going to be a 20 stage um, marks uh, generator. And that is going to be roughly 680 kilovolts of discharge that I'm aiming for. So right here is a 12 kilovolt NST connected to a voltage doubler on the back. There's two diode sticks which are 25 kilovolt 1 amp, otherwise known as 25 1N4007. Those connect to the 7 uh, nanofarad capacitors rated unknown voltage. This is just a single ply which I've tested 5 minutes solid on 12 kilovolts, they hold up fine. Though the capacitor in the middle is going to get roughly 17 kilovolts times 2, so about 34 kilovolts. I do not think that can handle that many kilovolts, which is why it's in there for testing. And if it can't, I'll simply try double or triple poly layers. So that is a 144 nanofarad capacitor. At 12 kilovolts, we are talking about 10 joules. At 30 kilovolts, we are talking about 40 joules. Right here is a spark gap of unknown distance. Let's see. I am going to measure about one centimeter. So when that discharges, we're going to have about 10 kilovolts. And I've noticed the discharge goes at about 60 volts in, so that tells me that this is surely doubling. But there's a lot of hissing that emits from that capacitor in the middle. And that's likely because it's not rated for this much. As for how loud this is for the camera, it's going to sound like nothing to me. It's pretty loud heard throughout the whole entire house. As you charge, the capacitors are, you know, rolled, not super tight, so they make, um, you can hear noise from the foil. Here's 30 volts, and you can already hear a little, not sure the camera hears it, but there's a little hissing noise coming off the big capacitor. But it's likely that could just be um, skin oil, because I didn't use gloves on these. These were just scrap test, and it could just be the cardboard box. Sometimes the ink is conductive. Now that is enough to actually vaporize foil and we are at 30 kV right now so that's 30 so this thing that start popping is very loud About 50 kilovolts is how much it takes to make it discharge. As you can hear, I'm at 40 kilovolts right now, and there's a lot of hissing coming off of the back somewhere. Not a clue what it is. But here's 50. Right now, Variac is off. 
This capacitor, the big one at least, I have left it in my room for 24 hours once. And yes, people knew about it. And next day it still had a decent loud discharge to it. But my guess is it's skin effect. I'm not going to put this too close because it's very hot right now. But my guess is there's some um, skin oil or something residue on the, the um, plastic or something else, I don't know. But the big one is not how big it's going to be. They're all going to be these smaller 7 nanofarad, so I don't make like gunshot plus volume sparks later on. Discharge the system, it obviously stops hissing. And that is it. This is just the next project. It's going to be, like I said, 25 stages or 20 stages using the doubler as its power source. So 34 kilovolts times 20 is my output. And it's probably going to be where the coil is. I'm going to use that wall space right there between the two closets because it's best for my marks generator so that is it coincidentally enough the computer turned off but it's because sleep mode computer is fine and happy and that is a new new computer it's from ibuypower.com 200 millimeter fans and all that stuff. Yeah, lighting and has an HD AMD Radeon uh, 6 something another 6950. Was about $1,400 and it's my gaming rig. So that is it.